Hello and welcome. The topic for today's session is clause 10 of form number 3CD. Clause 10 of form number 3CD requires the tax auditor to report on nature of business or profession if more than one business or profession is carried on during the previous year nature of every business or profession if there is a change in the nature of business or profession the particulars of such change is to be reported under this clause now what are the observations of taxation audits quality review board in respect of clause 10 of form number 3cd while observing or while reviewing various tax audit reports it was observed that codes for business or profession for all main activities means principal line of each of the businesses were not reported where they could be relocated clearly from the annual report that was the observation made by the taxation audits quality review board now what does the guidance note say with regard to clause 10 of form number 3 c d in this regard to the nature of business the principal line of each business is to be determined and stated in this clause that is the sector in which the business or profession falls such as manufacturing trading commission agent builder contractor professionals service sector financial sector or entertainment industry this is the main classification you have to select from the first drop down thereafter you have to go into the sub sector drop down list in case a person belongs to a service sector the nature of each type of service should be broadly stated thereafter the auditor is required to mention the subsector pertaining to the sector which is already selected in the first drop down of clause 10 now information has to be furnished in respect of each business the code to be mentioned against the nature of the business pertain to the main area of business activity. If any material change in the nature of business is has occurred during the previous year should be precisely set out. The change will include change from a manufacturer to trader as well as change in the principal line of business. For example, an SSC switching over from wholesale business to retail business or an SSC switching over from manufacturing his own commodities to manufacturing goods on job basis for others. This is the change in business activity which is to be reported. Likewise, any addition to or other than temporary discontinuance of a particular line of business may also amount to change requiring reporting however temporary suspension of the business may not amount to change and therefore need not be reported under clause b of clause 10 of form number 3 ct now where do you get this information with regard to the change in change in the nature of business activity be it shifting from manufacturer to trader or else temporarily discontinuing a type of business or a line of business or else any other change restructuring etc a review of the business reports or the minutes of the meetings would enable the tax auditor to note the changes if any so you can pick the change in the activities from the business reports or the minutes of the meeting and this will enable the tax auditor to find out if there is any change in the nature of business based thereon the tax auditor may make necessary enquiries and seek information and determine whether any change has occurred or not in the nature of business if need be 
the tax auditor should get a declaration from the SSE regarding change in the nature of business, if any. So you have to also take a management representation. Suppose, in case of business reorganization or reconstruction, if there is a similar line of activity, no reference need to be made. However, if the new line of activity emerge because of the business reorganization or reconstruction, the same is to be stated. In case, the restructuring, if any new line of activity has been hived off, means uh, because of restructuring, the existing line of activity, if it has been hived off, then you have to report the same. The auditor should keep in mind the above guidance while furnishing the information under this clause in the format provided in the e-filing utility. Right? Now, <clears throat> what is the suggestion by Taxation Audits Quality Review Board? It is suggested that the aforesaid observations as well as the requirements of the guidance note on tax audit under section 44AB of the Income Tax Act 1961 should be kept in mind while reporting under this clause. Thanks for watching. See you next time.